Kathy. And please put your hands together for Rich, everybody. Uh, it's about that time of night for a drunk story. So it was really dark, uh, and it was the middle of the night, and I may have had one too many. And I had to use the restroom, as one does when they've had one too many. So I stood up and uh, walked across the room uh, to the restroom and was beginning to feel that wonderful release when I heard, that's not the bathroom! <laughs> so I turned around and left the room very quickly, trying to regain some of my senses and trying to figure out where I was, um, and started walking down the hallway. I passed a ladies' room on the right-hand side, so this told me I was in a dorm. I passed a lot of ladies' rooms, which told me I was in an all-girls' dorm. At this point, I should have celebrated, but I had to use the restroom. So I continued down the hall, hoping for a man's name on a door, which I never found. Um, and then I uh, proceeded down the stairs, because where there is a women's floor, there is a men's floor, and onto the, 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 the next floor, at which point I started looking at the names on the door with a crossed leg. Um, and they were all ladies' uh, door names. And so I bit the bullet and walked into the ladies' restroom. Ladies, why do you have a trap at the entrance of your restroom? I'm a drunk male that needs to pee, and there is a couch which is calling me to sleep upon it. I don't understand. Men's rooms don't have traps. I turned the corner and I realized that I must be in a Bath and Body Works because there are very neatly placed baskets, all color-coded, almost as if they were purchased as gifts with more product than I could ever possibly use in my entire college career. Uh, and then I realized there were no urinals and I have to actually use a stall. Um, and I'm realizing this is very beautiful and there are flowers and I don't get it. But it's okay, I'm drunk and I'm finally relieving myself and this is good. And then I walk out the door and I make a left and I walk down the hallway and it dawns on me that I'm still seeing ladies' door names and I don't exactly know where I am. And I open up a door and I proceed out into the hallway and I proceed back up the stairs and I reach for the door handle and the door doesn't open. And I think, did I go left or right? Did I go right or left? Was I upstairs or downstairs? I have no idea. So I just start tapping on the glass window with a single finger, <laughs> hoping that someone hears me. Thankfully, after some ungodly time, someone does notice that I am actually outside the door, and they open up the door, and I get one of these looks. And that look tells me that uh, I realize I'm not wearing pants. Um, <laughs> or underpants. Um, but I am wearing a t-shirt, so there was some clothing there. Um, and she says, can I help you? And I say, yes. I don't know where to go. <laughs> and she says, well, I think you want to go over here, which is back into the girl's dorm, which is a good thing and a bad thing, both because I know I'm not wearing pants, and, um, but also because I'm going someplace where somebody else knows where I'm supposed to be going. And I proceed back to a room, um, and I'm reading the name on the door because that's a smart thing to do. Um, and she proceeds to wake up the person in the bed and say, I believe <clears throat> you've lost something. <laughs> that's a good one. Rich, everybody. Wow. <laughs>